नमस्ते वेलकम टू आवर वीडियो टॉकिंग अबाउट मेकेनिज्म ऑफ मेडिटेशन एज इन हाउ मेडिटेशन वर्क फ्रॉम अ साइंटिफिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मैनी ऑफ अर्स हैव दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट चेंजेस मेडिटेशन ब्रिंग्स इन अवर माइंड ब्रेन एंड नर्वस सिस्टम आई सेट ब्रेन एंड माइंड are they not same no well brain is an organ which serves as the center of nervous system and is located in our head it can be seen can be touched and has a physical existence where as mind is that element that enables a person to be aware of this world aware of their expressions their ability to think their ability to feel mind is our faculty of consciousness and thoughts it's our intellect it's our reasoning so you see mind is an abstract concept you cannot perceive the mind in terms of a concrete object that can be measured with known specifications as mind does not have physical property you can say if your brain is hardware then your mind is its software i hope you understand it better this way so our mind and brain cannot work without each other and it's very important to understand this as today we are going to discuss activity of our brain and its effect on our mind brain activities can be studied and measured because it has physical existence however based on that study we can read activity in our mind though indirectly when stress and anxiety overwhelms our nervous system it gets flooded with chemicals which in turn produces a fight or flight response now this fight or flight response is good natural only when it is valid for instance you are in a situation where you need to act quickly say you are being chased by a tiger or you are in a emergency situation or life threatening situation in this case you have to act quickly in such scenario you are in a high state of stress and anxiety causing heightened state of fight or flight response this response actually wears you down physically mentally emotionally and psychologically as well but it is valid in such situation because you have to take an action to save your life however you cannot hold this state of mind for a long period of time it is only for emergency situation and should not be activated on daily basis because it will wear you down on all box of your state of mind we all know every action has equal and opposite reaction so our brain is capable of producing a relaxation response as a counter reaction to that stress response 
when stress response produces chemicals in your brain that put you in a state of panic in the same time your brain is capable of producing response producing chemicals which will put you in a relaxed state well our body is capable of producing both kinds of responses depending on the situation so you can say in valid circumstances valid response comes up fight or flight response is not supposed to be happening on daily basis it's not a response for for our daily lives why because it is supposed to be for an emergency situation and is used like a weapon by the natural instinct of our body and we don't use weapons on daily basis right so the valid response for our daily life is relaxation response which puts us in a state of happiness calm and peace there are many benefits of relaxation response but i have a question can this relaxation response be produced by our brain through some activity what is there we can do to produce this relaxation response in our brain hence in body well meditative activities mindfulness or the best one is meditation meditation activates a relaxation response in your brain and body which changes your mind and brain firstly it slows down your heart rate and your breathing becomes deeper fuller and slower increase in the blood to your brain it relaxes your muscles increases your cognitive ability it releases pains and aches it helps you fight illnesses your blood pressure gets stabilized also it increases your focus and energy let me make one point very clear this relaxation response of our body is not activated while we are laying on the couch or watching television it can be activated only by mindful activities or mindfulness meditation many of us live mindlessly living mindlessly means functioning through life as we are on automatic mode after all this explanation we have still not discussed our topic which is mechanism of meditation and this is the right time to do so meditation helps us to live mindfully it helps us to focus on the present moment instead of worrying about future or dwelling on the past human mind is referred to as monkey mind when there are endless thoughts and chattering it feels similar to a room full of monkeys jumping here and there mindfulness meditation tames these thoughts 
and we learn to manage them. Talking about relaxation response, have you noticed one thing? It is something abstract and it is related to your mind, not your brain directly. Regular practice of meditation works miraculously on your mind and slowly you become more and more aware of your own mind, more and more aware of your thoughts, their behavior. As you are uninvolved observer of those thoughts and you are not getting carried away by them, slowly, slowly you become their master. They start becoming powerful and submissive. So your mind is full of thoughts which are powerful and submissive. And you are the master of those thoughts, which means indirectly, you become master of your own mind. We all know our mind is very powerful. Now, pictureize, visualize somebody powerful and submitting to you. Imagine. Just a thought of it is very interesting, isn't it? Don't we want powerful people submitting to us? You remember that genie of Aladi? Imagine your mind as that powerful genie submitting himself to Aladdin. Our mind is no less than that mighty submissive genie of Aladdin. This is abstract or non-physical aspect of this phenomena. There is another physical aspect or you can say technical aspect of this, which calls for our next video. This technical aspect is all about brain, brain waves, brain waves pattern. And our next video will be all about it and you will know it all and you will understand how meditation works on your mind and brain both so friends if you have not subscribed to our channel soulcraft please do so if you like the video please say it loud by hitting the like button and please share this informative video with your family and friends so they can also get benefit from this information. I will see you on other side. Till then, be happy, be peaceful, be still and be just be. Namaste.